Now, something I think confuses a lot of people who are either playing on Bovada or thinking about playing on Bovada is if they have a poker app. And basically, what they have is a browser-based software which lets you log into their website and then you could just start playing. So it's basically like a no download type of thing. So you're not actually installing an app on your phone, which could actually be looked at as a good thing because you won't have to worry about security issues of downloading a third-party app. So you're simply just logging into your account and playing. It's that simple and it's browser based. Now that I've cleared that up, I'd actually like to pull up a recent session here that I played on Movada Poker where I got a nice winner. Uh, so you guys can see some of the software, of course. If you'd like to learn more about how the browser based software works or grab a bonus for getting started on Bovada, there'll be some links you can check out directly below in the description. Don't forget to tap that like and let's get into some of these hands. Okay, now this was just a flat call and I'll tell you what, we hit top pair, but I realize in a spot like this, especially when he comes out and opens like this, I'm like, what are you doing here? I mean, it, this line didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So I just decided to juice it up. And if he calls us with a hand like, you know, I'm hoping he's got a hand like 9-8, but if he's got ace-9 or king-9, you know, we're not exactly dead because we could also hit a turn on a 10 on the turn and we would have actually. So my play right there, because he let out like that, I just... I couldn't figure that out whatsoever, so I made that play. I wasn't putting that guy in a three at any point in that hand, okay? Uh, maybe a flush draw, maybe he had a pair of nines, and I just figured, look, if he's got the nine, we get it all in here. It is what it is. Uh, hopefully, we're good. Hopefully, maybe he just folds, um, you know, but we would hit that 10 on the turn, so, you know, everything would have worked out. It, we, we probably would have taken his old stack, honestly. I mean, especially if he had a pair of nines right there. Okay, pocket sixes. Now, we really just started off this session a little bit up and down, and I will say that you're watching about 35 minutes of gameplay extended down uh, to some of the main hands, but you know when you play for a half an hour or so and you get a nice $200 double up, it always feels really good, you know? Um, especially, I mean, that's just a great ROI right there, and it did work out for us. Okay, now pocket sixes in this spot, it's kind of like, all right, not so great almost in check fold maybe I'll, i'd make a, a call here if it was a small bet but looking to spike a six um that's about it and this is how it goes with little pocket pairs sometimes you hit it sometimes you don't all right so we're just going to check this over All right, turn card was a three. Didn't change a whole lot. I mean, we're still losing to any kind of pair of queens here. You know, jack, queen, king, queen. This guy was playing this hand very passively, though. River card was a three. It did put a flush out there, but just based on how passive this guy was playing this hand, just seemed like he didn't want a whole lot to do with it, with the ace out there. So, but it's also likely he could have a queen here, and I realize that. And he did. He had a really weak queen, but it was suited and, uh, you know, I had to make that call. Okay, so here we go with pocket sevens. Now, what was really weird about this hand is uh, the guy in front of us to act is going to raise it up to $7. Now, how weird is that, right? I'm like, we have pocket sevens. You're going to raise it to seven bucks. I guess this is our destiny right here. I mean, uh, it, it was very strange. Now I'm just going to make the call here. No reason to really three bet with this. In my opinion, I mean, I think it's fine making this play. Now, this was a little bit confusing for a couple of reasons, but you're going to see that the, uh, the flop's going to be one of those like really low flops with like some three, three, five, something like that. So pocket sevens is looking really good on this type of board, but you know, at the same time, I went a little bit passive with it just based on how these guys were playing. Now there is a flush draw out there. I could see some flush draws, but you know, pretty safe board for pocket sevens. The ideal situation here is hitting that seven on the turn, you know, giving us what we need here to basically lock this hand in.
Okay, so I decided to lead out. Now, the reason I did this was because why not? Um, you know, if these guys have a couple of overcards to this board, you know, you know, some ace kings, king queen type of stuff, then, you know, we could take it down right here, maybe putting in a bet. Maybe somebody calls, they miss, uh, it is what it is, or sevens are good. But what I didn't expect was a re-raise. Now, this really threw me off, but there was no way, there was just no way I was throwing this hand away just yet. So I am going to make the call and check out this Bank River card. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. All right. So, uh, you know, just sitting here hoping this guy has a three, right? I mean, obviously the, a flush got there. Um, but more likely this guy might have a three and that would be best case scenario. Now, I, I think... If you look at it from his point of view, this play I made was really confusing. He's actually going to let the clock run on this quite a bit. And I figured this this is a spot to just re-raise because it almost looks like a bluff, right? I mean, it looks like I missed the flush. It looks like I've got a couple high cards. It just looks like it looks so bluffy, my play right here. So I think making this move is totally fine, right? Uh, if it was a different scenario... Maybe I would just, you know, kick it up a little bit, but I wanted this to look like a bluff because in my opinion, this is just an impossible, this is just impossible. I mean, for anybody to really see this. So that's the reason I made this play. And, uh, like I said, he's going to let the clock run on it, make the call. And, uh, yeah, man, beautiful situation right there. And that, that hand was really the hand of this session. We got a couple more coming up here, but, Man, I want to know your thoughts on that one, guys. I just want to know what you thought about it. But like I said, I couldn't just I couldn't just give that hand up on that re-raise just based on that board. I mean, with the flush draws, two different flush draws, uh, what is he saying he's got? It just, I'm telling you, none of it really made any sense to me. So uh, obviously, banking that seven was just like, it was just the spiciest river card ever, right? I mean, amazing. All right, here we go with a uh, king seven. Like I said, we get a couple more hands here, um, but uh, king seven, top pair, uh, runner runner flush possibilities, two pair, three of a kind, uh, you know, turn cards. So good board. This is a board you're definitely gonna want to bet into based on what I've got too. Now he's gonna make the call. Turn card wasn't exactly what we were looking for. It's gonna be a an ace of hearts, and uh, I slowed down here. I was like, all right, well that was not really a good turn card for us. I was also thinking this guy might be floating us with some kind of weak ace too. Maybe like an, I don't know, any kind of ace. Uh, River card was a jack. Uh, believe me, I was happy to check this one down because I wasn't even sure. I gave us ourselves a 50-50 on that, but we, we won that one. So things going our way. All right, raising it up here. And I think overall I played pretty good in this session, guys. But, you know, if you want to, you know, play poker like a pro, you got to be aggressive. Do not be playing this game passively. And the other thing, like I said, you need to be three betting with hands uh, in later positions that make sense, uh, especially to protect your blinds. We didn't get so much of that in this session, but if you watch any of the other cash games on the channel, there's hundreds of them. Um, I think over 800, uh, you'll, you'll see that I three back quite a bit. Okay. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one as always. Thanks for watching this and we'll see you on the next poker video.